you know what that is. Motorhome Mondays. All right, most important thing right now, shade. I found myself some shade on the industrial estate because it's relatively, you know, if you hadn't noticed, warm. Got the got all the uh, windows open. Got fans are blowing in there, blowing the gale force wind in there. Cold showers have been a treat. But yeah, it's uh, one thing that is the that is them rare days that we do get hot weather. It's uh, it can be a bit a bit uncomfortable, especially when I'm sleeping during the day and I'm sleeping. I think yesterday the other day it was like 37 when I was trying to sleep. But I can do it. I'm hardcore. I have to, have to, have to, have to say thank you to you all so much. 20K, 20,000 subscribers. I mean, that is something just blows my mind. And someone commented on a video uh, a couple of days back saying, oh, just seen you at 20K. And I remember in this video, you said you was at 1,500. And I mean, it's just, it's incredible. So really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you everyone to sub that subscribes and watches my videos. I really appreciate it. And I'll keep creating while you keep watching. Right, before we get onto the questions, I just wanna do a few quick shout outs. Um, I get asked for these a lot, but I don't do them that often. Just, you know, cause it might get a bit boring, I suppose, I don't know. Um, but I want to do a quick shout out to the Inglorious Trio at work and the Shunters, top lads, all of you. And now I've got a special shout out to Julie and Gwen the Whippet. Thanks for watching the videos and thanks for sharing them with people. They're uh, much appreciated, really appreciate that. Let's crack on, shall we? Have you ever considered doing vlogs slash videos of your holidays and travels and other stuff non-motorhome related? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got, I haven't, I've, I've, I've been proper slow on the mark, but I've got footage. I did vlog my way around Thailand um, the last time I went, and I've got the footage. I just haven't put it all together yet. I mean, there's quite a lot. I mean, it's the whole hard drive full of full of, stu full of the stuff. Um, but I don't know if you lot really want to see that stuff. I don't know if you want to see non motorhome related stuff. I mean, this is the old motorhome channel. Um, I don't know if you want to see stuff like that. I mean. Whilst I'm in the motorhome and I'm doing vlogging and all that, that's that's because I'm in the motorhome. But if I go on holiday or I go travelling on something or just go anywhere, do you guys want to see that? I mean, I'm not too fussed if you do or you don't. I mean, this is entirely up to you lot. But if I get enough people asking for it, then I suppose I could. Can't see any harm. Um, right, another one with uh, another question to do with videos. Can you do some videos of your truck? and what you do at work and your day -to -day, on your day-to-day -day basis. I would love to, but I'm not allowed to. Can't film at work, can't film whilst I'm driving and all that. I know there are truckers out there that do, and they set up all their cameras and that, but I just can't do that at work. So I'd love to, but apologies, that's not gonna happen. All right. Uh, what vehicles did you own before a motorhome? Uh, I had a, my first car was a Peugeot 106. Uh, my next car was a Mazda 6. Car after that was a Peugeot 206 or 306. Both were white. The Mazda was blue. Um, and there was one point when I moved back from Thailand, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get an economical car. I'm gonna get one that doesn't have much uh, <laughs> Doesn't have much car tax, road tax. And as you can see, I'm not exactly petite. I bought a smart car and I really messed up. I bought not only just a smart car, I bought a left-hand drive smart car. And the guy that sold it to me, he he gave me the receipt and uh, he told me to like sign on the thing. And it, it was folded piece of paper. Didn't know this, I was proper schooled into this. And then when I got it back and it was really not driving that well, it was really, I think it was a blown turbo. Um, see, I don't know jack about mechanics. Um, when I looked through the paperwork that he'd given me, at the bottom, that, um, that folded bit, I didn't know was folded once I was getting the paperwork. It said sold, sold for spares and repairs. Yep. Uh, to say I took it back there very quickly and threw it at him 
and demanding my money back was an understatement. But yeah, I've done a few schoolboy errors in my time. But hey, it's what, it's what makes you you, don't it? Uh, next one. Talking about errors. Do you regret any modifications you've done to the motorhome and do you regret buying a motorhome of that age? Buying a motorhome of that age, I'll start with that one first. No, not at all. Um, I love my motorhome, it's not a problem. I hadn't, haven't had any issues, really, touch wood. Um, I've got, you know, it's maintenance stuff, it's not, it's not issues. Um, modifications, do you have any regret of any modifications? I would say there's one probably regret but again, you learn, you learn from it. And that would be the flexi solar panels for two reasons. One, flexi, don't do flexi. I bought them right when they came out, brand new. As soon as they come to the market, I bought them and I bought them at such a high price. It's unreal. Um, and they're, they're pants, they don't work. They're all, they're all dead. Um, I think one's left, but. And the second part of that is I wouldn't have sicker flexed them to the roof because they ain't coming off now. <laughs> they ain't coming off, they're staying. So, it's gonna be an interesting conversation with the new owner. Oh yeah, them solar panels. Yeah, they don't work. Oh, can I take them off? No. Oh, really? Do it at your own risk. <laughs> so yeah, if there's any regrets, I'd probably say them to that, that, that really. Uh, buying flexes and actually super gluing them to the roof. Um, go rigid and put them, on, put them on feet. A lot better, a lot easier to change. Have you ever thought about getting an American RV uh, motorhome, RV motorhome as your next one? Uh, or when you was looking? Uh, when I was looking, I didn't really look at them. I, I don't know, I know there's, I know um, Technomatic Sai, he's got an American, American uh, RV. Um, and it, it's amazing inside because, not at the moment, it's having a new floor, but I mean, he's got like a, an armchair, like proper armchair in there. It's brilliant. Uh, but I've always been put off because they're American and are they hard to fix? Are they hard to, you know, I mean, you lot can tell me. I mean, if you've got an, an American one, you can let me know. I don't know what the value for money is like over here. Um, if I would ever, I mean, they're, they're, they're cool. They look great. I don't know. Never, never driven one, I suppose. I suppose that's just the same. I don't know. Do they have the flappy, flappy gear paddles or something? I don't know. I, I would look at them, but I'd probably just stick with conventional motorhomes, I suppose. Um, but again, they're not. I mean, I'm, if I was to buy, it, probably we pigeon. I haven't really looked at them, so maybe I will. What's your thoughts on motorhomes when all vehicles go electric? I have this question quite a lot, usually from the same person. Um, and they're not going electric anytime soon. Yeah, vehicles are slowly moving to batteries and testers are, are, are knocking them out of the park. It's great, but they are not all gonna go electric anytime soon. I probably won't see the day in the, in the end of my lifetime of all vehicles going electric and no fossil fuels because the technology is not there right now and there's not enough batteries in the world and there's not enough power points in the world and charging stations. So, you know, and if it does, if for some fluke reason it does miraculously just everything turns electric, then you've got to roll with the punches, haven't you? you just got to go with it and get an electric motor home. So, deal with it. <laughs> that's all you can do. If that's the way it goes, what more can you do? You can't fight it if, that, if they're literally saying, if that's, that was the way, but too much tax is made from diesel and petrol. So, they're not gonna wanna get rid of that anytime soon. Uh, lastly, in last week's Motorhome Mondays, uh, you said you've got long-term plans. What are they? Um, I'm not going to go into major detail right now of what my plans are, but they do involve motorhomes and they do involve this channel. I would like to grow this channel even more and someday go full time. So I might start experimenting with things on the channel. So if you do see some things changing, bear with me, I'm just testing things out. Um, but 
yeah, I would like to go, I would like the channel to, to work and for me to potentially go full time in, in, in the future, if possible, that would be great. But that's something to, I'm, I'm probably working towards. We just gotta see if we can get there, haven't we? We're on a journey. We'll see if we get there. Destination unknown. But no, it would be great to, uh, would be great to go full time and then I can just travel and vlog and find amazing food places all around the globe. That would be amazing. Right, that's it for this week's My Home Mondays, guys. If you've got any questions for next week, make sure you drop them in the comments below. Send them to me on Instagram or on my email, darren at theomotorhome.com, D-A-R-R-A-N. Unique, no E-N. <laughs> uh, if you've got any hints, tips, video requests, drop them in there below, drop them down below as well, and I'll have a look at them and add them to the list. Have a great week, guys. Take it easy. Bye.